Oh, here they have the pleasure ways, talking about B+. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. So Pleasure Ways, is, it's, they're made in Canada and they're one of my favorite brands when it comes to small motorized RVs here. They have the, I, I know that they have the Plateau XLTS, which is the one that, that I like, but this is a new one, it's called the Tofino, which is perhaps a little more minimalist than, than, than my, 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 uh, <laughs> my preferred, but it, it is very nice and the, the good thing with this, this Tofino, it's, this is, it looks like a 19-footer and you can park that almost anywhere. Which, now the Lexor, this is on the ProMaster chassis. And this is one of my favorites if I were to go uh, the route of the classic B, you know, not, not built on a cutaway chassis like the B+, Plus, which is really a C, a streamlined C. But this is my favorite feature of the ProMaster chassis. And uh, I have to make sure that I'm still recording here because Sometimes when I sit down or I do something, I accidentally press the button. Let me show you. If I were to do this, the best thing about the ProMaster chassis is that a person like me, 5'10", yep, you cannot do this on a Sprinter. Sprinter is just a couple of inches uh, and narrower and uh, it's narrower enough that you cannot do that. Here, this one. They do have the, the multiplex uh, screen here where you can actually AC fan high. It's a bit noisy, maybe we'll put it in low. And there, did you hear that compression kick in? It's kind of warm here today in, in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is, I haven't, I, I haven't heard great things about this Dometic. This is the one that Guanabago used to put on the Travados. And I've heard um, circumstantial evidence that sometimes it, it doesn't cool as evenly as they should, but they keep using them. Maybe they have improved them. This is a, a two-way, actually three-way refrigerator. You can use it with uh, AC, DC, or propane, which is very cool. And this one has a wet bath, but as far as wet baths go, this one is not bad actually, it's relatively, um, you know, large. The, the, the only negative thing with, with this uh, uh, Class B RVs, if you could call it a negative, is the off, off, hello, how do you turn off the AC? Oh well, I'll leave it on. <laughs> And I totally lost my train of thought. I was talking about the, yes. the, the tanks, the, the, the holding tanks in, in this uh, class B sometimes are not as large. So you, know, you just have to use the, the campground uh, facilities sometimes. Okay, let me prove my, my theory here. And let's try to sleep transversely. And as you can see, no, I don't quite fit. So the, the Sprinter is a couple of inches narrower and that to me, that to me makes a, a heck of a difference between me because that means you would have to make up that, that king size bed every single time. And that's something that Maybe, you know, I don't want to go through that trouble. The, the, there's the Lexor TS and the Exor FL. And the, the difference, and uh, at some point I would like to talk to Pleasure Way because I would like the front of the Lexus FL, which has uh, this little area here where you could set up a, a desk. That's why they call it front lounge because you can, you can, turn both seats and then you, you would have like a small computer desk here which seems very convenient uh, especially for someone who has to, who works from the road like me and then you have the 
the Lexor TS, which has no table there. Um, but what it does has is a wardrobe closet. I, I would skip the wardrobe closet and uh, I would have more room here in the front, but then have the back of the TS, which has a, a larger back. Let me show you, let me show you the FL again. The FL has a, a wardrobe closet. Well, I, I have some people in there. It has a wardrobe closet in the back there that, that kind of takes away a little bit of room from, from, uh, from that rear lounge. Let me show you now my, my favorite pleasure way, which is the one that, uh, you know, let's be comfortable, right? And we want to be comfortable. And this is the XLTS, the Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS. It's based on the cutaways printer chassis. And, um, and this is very nice. You have the same front lounge area here. You have the same small computer desk that you can use with USB power and all that. This is a little bit wider, of course, because it is a wide body. It's a, it's a cutaway chassis. So they actually build the whole back from scratch. But look at this bathroom. This is the, the, the piece de resistance. Look at that. So it's not a wet bath. Here you have a proper shower. And I'm not going to open it up because I don't want to, you know, be doing that. And the only thing maybe I would do away with in this one is remove this wardrobe closet. Although it is, it's nice to have that storage, but then you cannot use this chair because I would love to, you know, for... For, for, for this to be a, like, like a sitting area, but I could work here, Ely could work here and have a, like, like a nice desk in the middle, which would be a modified desk like that. I like the fact that, look, look at that nice window in the back. So, so we, if we are backing into an ocean front or lake front or whatever front site, we will have a nice view there. Let me see if there's anything else in the pleasure ways. New, I know. I knew they had uh, they had one with uh, with um, with lithium batteries. By the way, they are made in Canada, same as the leisure travel vans. In Saskatoon, Canada, they're made. And um, and anyways, I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow and uh, and show you a little more of uh, of this stuff. Oh, it looks like it might rain. Whew. By the way, this show is, is huge. It's impossible to show you everything today. And I'm getting tired and hungry, to be honest. So I'm going to start heading back to the other side. See what else. What else do we have here? We'll see it tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I'm kind of intrigued by this one with the with the pop top. <laughs> <laughs>